Hey guys, how's it going? It is Ariana, and I am going to show you how I got my curly hair like this today, and let's go. It is the day that I am going to show you guys my curly mixed ethnic hair routine. I haven't washed my hair in like a week. I did do conditioners in it, but I did not use shampoo for a week. Um, and I've had it up for the last couple days, so this is how it looks. And I'm going to wash it now. So I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. And I'm also going to be <laughs> using my leftover uh, Palmer's Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Formula. I've opened it once. I took it with me on a trip, so it got all in the bag. But... I like this a lot better than the other conditioner I got. Um, I also had heard from someone that I should, if I'm only washing my hair once a week, that I should be deep conditioning it every time, so I'm going to start doing that. Um, this isn't like a routine that I've had. I don't really have like a routine. Um, I guess this will be like the second or the third week in a row that I'm going to do this, but usually I try different products, mix them up differently, sometimes use a different shampoo, sometimes use a different conditioner, but I got the Think Dirty app, and I looked up so much of my products, and they were dirty, so I wanted to make sure I started using clean ones. This is so weird having clothes on in the shower. So we're starting with this. I use a lot more than they say. I got a lot of hair. I always heard that shampoo was for your scalp and conditioner was for your hair. So I always try to apply it at the root before I start rubbing it in. And I try to like scratch it and rub it in and it never feels as good as when a hairstylist does it for some reason. I don't know why, but it's weird, right? So I try to really get in to inside of the hair and like separate it. Go crazy with the shampoo. Okay, so I just washed the shampoo out. So now I am putting in the Palmer's Coconut Oil Deep Conditioner. That I put more into my hair than in the actual roots. And I try to focus on the ends since I know that's the most damaged part. And if you can't tell, my hair is super tangled. But I always brush it inside of the shower because when you have curly hair, you can't like really run a brush or comb through it when it's dry without fucking up your curls. So I always comb it out in here. I heard a while ago the best way to detangle without losing so much hair is to start at the bottom. Try to just start at the very tip <coughs> and work my way up to the roots and I seem to lose a lot less hair when I do it like this rather than starting up here I'm just trying to jerk through it you start at the bottom and go up it is a lot easier now I am not exactly sure what my hair type is as far as, as far as like 3A or B. I think I have some 3C, probably some 3B from the damage stuff and some 4A in different spots. But I'm definitely not a professional on this. And I was raised by a white mom. So I didn't learn much about how to take care of my hair and just always constantly had it relaxed 
just as a kid. So my hair type is just starting to get back to its natural hair type. Even when I stopped relaxing my hair at 19, it was crazy having it, you know, grow out super thick and have these ends. And I grew it out the whole time, but I was still always straightening it with the blow dryer and flat iron. So now you can see that damage from the heat. <clears throat> it's not chemical damage anymore, it is heat damage though. I like the combs to usually be smaller, less wide tooth, but I am at my boyfriend's house right now. And this is his, so that's what I'm using. As far as the hair that I just lost, it's not too bad, but I mean, for not brushing and washing my hair for a week, I mean, if you're supposed to lose 100 hairs a day, that's definitely decent, right? Okay, so I'm going to shave and wash my body and face while this is sitting in my hair. All right, it's been about <clears throat> 10 minutes and I'm going to wash this out. So it's best to have your hair as wet as you can, like right out of the shower. Had to get it a little bit wet again. Hope this works. So I'm using another Shea Moisture product. This is the leave-in milk. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm going to be using. And then this oil for a seal afterward. So what I usually do is I have, what's really crazy is when my hair is straightened, all of these really short pieces at the neck reach down to where the rest of my hair reaches. But when it curls up, it loses half the length. So now that I stopped cutting my hair for wearing it straight, I have to grow all these short little curly neck parts back. So I put the rest of my hair up except for all of this short neck hair right here so I use quite a bit of product each time and this stuff is really thick you have to squeeze it so hard so you want to like really saturate it in at least I do at these parts because this part gets the frizziest for some reason and this is the part of my hair that I feel like is shorter tinier curls than the other ones and I don't know if that's from the damage and my hair is all this or I have a few different hair types okay so after I put it in that hair I'm gonna get some more try to get it in my fingers because I take each part of this and curl them into little like ringlet curls And then, you know, even if it has products on it, the product dries. The smaller the portions are that you pick are better, but obviously that takes longer. Kind of ends up hurting my fingers, so I try to use different ones. And I'm going to finish doing the rest. Sometimes you have to get your hair wet in between again because you want to keep it wet so that it can form into the curls. I also go around and do all of my face framing pieces. You want to do all this correctly today because if you do, then for the rest of the week you won't have to do any of this. And yes, sometimes I will condition during that week or whatever, but literally your curls pretty much stay. So now that I've got the underneath done, I'm going to get some more in my hands and put it on the edge area. 
and start to frame those. And again, the extra product dries after a while. I usually don't blow dry my hair, but if you do, it'll help that. And there's gonna be some pieces that have these parts that just will not curl. That probably means it's damaged and it needs to go. Okay, I'm going to finish doing the face framing pieces and then I'll be back to finish my hair. Okay, so I finished the face framing pieces and now I am going to do the rest of my hair. So I usually will do sections again so that I make sure I get everywhere. And always be scrunching the entire time. Again, usually I would do this when my hair is soaking wet. It's not as wet as I'd like it to be. But I think it'll still turn out all right. And when I'm done with this, I usually go back and do a few more uh, little finger rolls to pieces up here just to kind of make it all kind of look like the pieces that you see separated from my hair are all like this. But when you look at all my hair, I didn't take the time to go and do each strand like that, you know? And if you don't get in there to like the roots, it will get all frizzy and really big at those parts and look weird and really dry. If I had a diffuser here, I might use it for a few minutes, but I've never been someone who really blow dries my curly hair. I feel like it kind of dries enough, gets enough volume. All right, so when it is completely dried, I will be back to show you how much my hair shrank. <laughs> okay, so it has been a couple hours. I had to go to an appointment before my hair dried, but it is completely dry now. And I am using this oil that I ended up getting in one of my Ipsy bags. Couldn't find it on the Think Dirty app though. But whatever oil you use, get a little bit and I seal it with the oil. I used to put it on first, but I found that after my hair is dried and completely formed, it keeps it sealed like this a lot better. This stuff smells really good too. Okay, so I do have something to show you. If you use bigger pieces when you're rolling your curls, you get these ringlet type ones. And if you use smaller ones, you get these like wavy, what is that, like Z or S shape, I don't know. But this is what my hair looks when it's completely done. For day one after washing, um, I really don't know exactly what my hair type is. If someone can help me out, that'd be awesome. It is a little bit damaged up here. Like some of these ends just will not curl anymore. But I do feel like it's really starting to get better in here. I used to have a lot of breakage up here from straightening all the time. Um, I used to straighten my hair so often, people would be like, oh, I didn't even know you had curly hair when I would wear it curly. When I was younger, I always used to wear it up curly. I never wore it down curly. Um, I didn't start wearing it down curly until I was in my 20s, um, like late 20s. It's pretty crazy. Um, just so conditioned to always straighten it. So it's a little bit harder to get used to the length. And like with these little ones down here that are so much tighter, like look at how much 
they stretch and when it was straight it was this long but you know they bounce back up so short that I don't even want to get rid of this little bit down here just feel like it is so much length and it's taking so long to grow these out but yeah I am learning to love my natural hair I'm learning to style it and what products to use with it since I just hadn't and I really like that this whole like curly hair revolution is happening it's a lot easier to wear my hair like this and it's so much healthier I can just feel it like there were times from straightening it and it just being so dry that it felt like hay or something you know especially when I bleached it it got pretty bad at the ends yeah this is my finished product with just those two the leave-in milk Shea Moisture and this oil afterwards. I used to use so many products and just be able to use a couple and hopefully for the rest of the week be able to do things, you know, after a few days leaving it down. I can do two ponytails or I can do two buns or I can just put it up in like the pineapple sort of look. And it's good to do your front pieces because then you can just leave them down like this on a lazy day. And you wanna make sure you do these pieces down here so that you can leave your little curls out. Some people like to take these and actually like, you know, pull the curls apart so they have more. I sometimes do that later on in the week. Yeah, thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next video.